Hello everybody, welcome back. Crap. Hello everybody, welcome to the start of something new. I'm, uh, decided to go away from the average browser game and move on to real indie games. Not to say that browser games aren't indie games, but the more advanced type of stuff. And we're starting things off with Powerless. Powerless is developed by M. Strange. It's a... Well, from what I can read here, an experimental first-person horror game. Do not trust this game. The game is made in Unity. Uh, I've got everything set up. Download it from Game Jolt. There will be a link at the bottom if you want to try it out yourself. This is just a demo because the game is still in development, but we can already have a look at what this is going to be at. We already have a nice ominous menu screen. Let's uh, press E to relinqu relinquish your power to him. See what happens. So they play these games, and they believe that they have some power. <laughs> Powerless they truly are. In my world, they won't get far. Yes, Master King. You are him. You are power. Send them to Area zero, 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 and give them all the uh, harmless toy gun. Let's see what they can do with that to get some of my low-level monsters. If they can get through that area, show them the way to me. You are him. You are power. So that should prove why we needed a seizure seizure warning on that. Um, I don't hope the game's crashing, but it looks like it is. Maybe because I'm playing it in windowed mode, I'm not entirely sure. Nope, there it goes. All right. So we don't see anything here, but we do seem to be in control of our character. Alright, there's something over there. I don't see anything though, so the only thing we can really do is move towards that. Maybe we'll get a light source of some kind, otherwise this is going to be quite dark of a video. So, first of all, yeah, the graphics looks great. Uh, lighting effects and stuff like that are all looking good. Shadows are great. I'm usually not a graphics hoarder. I mean... I'm happy with games that just play well, they don't have to look good. It's always a nice bonus, and you know, I'm not that of a genius when it comes down to creating stuff, but um, so I don't know how much work actually goes in this. But this thing looks more than okay for me, and uh, I mean, if you just listen, the um, footsteps and all that sounds great and all that. Uh, Monolith, are you aware that you are powerless? Yeah, the problem is I don't see my mouse, so can I just press Y? Pause it, ah, pause the Y key, use, kill yourself. I don't think I want to kill myself. Do not trust this game. So it says this again, does that mean I'm going to get uh, shanked at some point and I will have to kill myself at some point? Anyway, uh, are you aware that you're powerless? I'm going to try and find out how to click yes. Okay, I think I clicked yes. Never forget it. And that brings us back into the darkness. Well, you only have a bit of light, so let's start heading towards that and see what comes up. So yes, I am playing with blind. I'm gonna... Holy crap. Wow. Can we swing that hammer? There's a woman trapped in that... Container. Whoa. Did we just die because of something? Hmm. 
Well, clicking doesn't allow me to shoot in any way, so... Uh, let's continue onwards. The lights went out here, so I'm... Uh, at least able to say that progress is saved. wouldn't mind having my gun out, but apparently I cannot have that yet. There's a woman trapped in that container. Right. Are you power you are powerless, you cannot help her. Ignore her scream, walk away. Well, this looks like a lever. Either Yeah, but I was gonna say we either kill her or save her and well, you know. Killing her is another way of saving her, I was say. These things look... Oh, you can actually move them? Can you push them over? No, you can't. Can you... Oh, they can't fall down. Mouse sensitivity is high when you hear someone running away. So, what? do you have anything else to say? You are a murderer. Yep. Guess I'm not that powerless. And I still have the... Oh man, we just saw stuff walk. No, wait, what? No, that's one of those statues then, okay. So yeah, this game is quite eerie. I suppose that's why they call it an experimental horror game. I don't know how long the demo is, by the way, so I don't know how much longer I will. Wouldn't mind trying to find a gun first, because they did say it was a shooter. Which would... Whoa, that looks awesome. Some shining stuff over there. Ah, oh, no. Ooh. Completely. F that could be our light source. Looks like a flashlight, but it's moving, so it could just be a freakishly candle. Can we open the door? No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just follow the arrows, I suppose. I think that's one of our enemies. Wonder if we can get that thing into the light and maybe get a better look at that. Uh, it doesn't even seem to be bothered with me being there. Right, so the arrows are pointing that way, which obviously means I'm not going that way. Hey, don't trust the game, so I'm not going to. So here's another enemy that just waltzed by, it seems. There's a gun. Just have to figure out how to get to it now. Mouse sensitivity is quite high, and seeing that I'm playing on window, I can easily go get my mouse outside of the window. It's a bit annoying, but... Uh oh, jeez. Can I just not push through there? Hmm. What can you see in the dark? Well, uh, so the problem is, oh, not wait, no, ah, uh, here we go, now we're doing it, there's another monster waiting to eat our soul, what the fuck is that, whoa, okay, so there's our enemies, Awesome and scary as hell. What more could you possibly want? We have no recourse on where to go here. Uh, what the hell is that? That was not my Skype, by the way. That was uh, the game itself? I almost went down to look and then I was like, oh right, I'm not even signed into Skype. Uh, so it's probably a something to do with that front door, a back door. But if that dude's still here trying to shop me, that looks like ammo, or at least uh, it's the same. Can I? Right, so we got that. Can we now shoot that? Oop! Clicked on a window. We probably need to get that weapon in first. So can this... 
drill be of any use to us? No. Okay. Well, we'll move on. We'll go see what that's all about. Maybe that's our gun, actually. There seems to be another bit of ammo in there, too, even. Man, why do there always need to be dolls or little kids in horror games, man? Hear yourself breathing, that's always a bit uh, <coughs> eerie as well, to say the least, but... Um, nothing that can be helped, so... Well, uh, there's our little... Friend again. I'm gonna call him Bob for the duration of this. For some reason it helps naming something scary something... Not so scary. So yeah, there's Bob. Bob's a bit of a weird one. Um, he likes to hug people, and um, we don't. So this drill activates when you get close to it, but uh, so that's pointing us into the darkness of it all. I don't see Bob's eye. We got some more ammo though. Oh, there's Bob. Do we just walk? Into the, the darkness. I suppose we can look to if we're uh, hitting a wall of sorts. Okay, so this is a wall. Uh, I don't really know if there's a button to activate all the things. So this is the drill again. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Alright, well, I'm just going to be lost in here forever. <coughs> um, maybe I do need to kill myself in order to make things happen. I'm not entirely sure, because there is a button to restart the game rather than to kill yourself. So maybe there's a difference in any of those. So, um, I'm going to end the video here. Can I get in there if that opens up? Because that would really make my day a lot easier. I'm going to try that. Come on, open up. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Uh, nope. Alright. So yeah, I'm going to cut it here. Uh, this has been Powerless. A experimental first-person horror game that is still in development. Created by M. Strange. Um, this is also the replacer for my browser game spotlight, so those have come on an end. I don't think anyone is going to mind too, too much that I'm moving on to something bigger and probably better. This has been my first, well, review, I would say. So I'm still learning what people are interested in. So I hope you're learning a bit on what I'm interested in. That being more gameplay-wise than graphics. And, yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. Hoping you will enjoy this as much as my other content. Feel free to recommend an indie game you want me to have a look at. Whether it's from Game Jolt or anywhere else. I do not mind going off of your recommendations because you probably know more about these than I do. You know where the good stuff is. I'm just trying to figure in this stuff out for myself. Anyway, I'm dragging this out way too long. This has been Powerless. See you guys on the next indie game. Whatever I'm calling this one. Bye, everyone.